You can really feel it in his lessons that what he wants us to do is not only succeed in his class, but succeed in the future. And everything from the homework, from the test, from the way he talks to us, really shows his passion to teaching. Shio just doesn't teach us pre -count. He just doesn't teach us what tangents are or sine or cosine. In fact, he teaches us how we can apply that to the real world. A shio bear is when after you take a test and you score a B or higher in test, um, we do a bear drawing, which is like a little bingo cage, and it, you pull out a number, and if your number gets called out, then you get to choose a bear from this classroom, and there's so many like bears, big, small, and like different colors, and like it's, and it makes me feel like you're rewarded for how hard you're trying. It's a goal that they achieved, okay? They want to be able to earn a bear. Now, you can get straight A's on all your tests and still not get a bear. You also have to be lucky. You know, and sometimes they keep their bears for many years. I've heard from students that still have their bears. I like that his focus is more on what we know rather than the tests or the paperwork itself, and he focuses on making sure we understand what we're trying to do. So learning how to learn, they're learning how to think. It's not the math. Even though they learn the math, it's not formulas. They're learning to find out what something's made of, how it works, and then when they get to some other topic or subject or event in their life, they get to examine it better and they get to know what it's made of, how to take it apart and put it back together.